Hi, I'm Bill Butler, taking a break from my normal run of bonsai videos to show you a simple robotics project that I put together for my office display for Halloween. I have a graveyard scene beneath the crescent moon. Coming from the graveyard, I have a little boy, zombie, dressed in his Halloween costume and his little paper tiger mask. He'll track left and right based on the sensors above the display. I have three motion detectors up there, left, right, and center. The eyes of the jack-o'-lantern will track you as well. If he determines that you've stopped in front of the window, he will tap on the glass. Let's take a look. See, uh, one of the four servos is the servo which operates the tail that swishes left and right at random intervals. This is the access panel to protect the electronics. Inside, we will see the Arduino controller board, a couple of shields, the heavy-duty servo and servo block that I put in to control the head. I have communications cables that goes out to the periphery. This is what everything looks like when you pull it out, and this is what everything looks like when you put it back. And for the left, right, and middle sensors, I have indicators. When I found the little boy, he was filthy, dressed in horrible clothes and moldy and such. The dirt is nice, but I got him a tiger costume at a thrift store. This is what he looks like, fully assembled. And this is what he looked like when he was being disassembled. I could have played Hamlet. Here we see the LEDs are indicating left, middle, and right data coming in. The Arduino does 20 samples every second and does a statistical weighted analysis to determine which way to turn the head to track the motion as it determines you are moving in front of the display. Let's take a look inside the jack-o'-lantern. We'll remove his rotten candy cap to show one of the four servos. This one operates the pupils and it tracks just the same as the head as it receives data. The stainless steel wire moves the little cardboard rectangles that we have set up as pupils. Here's the auxiliary board I had to create. I mounted a 4700 microfarad capacitor to handle the servos. I overkilled on that. I have the uh, displays back there. As, indicate, as mentioned before. Here are the communications cables. This one goes off to the jack-o'-lantern and this one goes off to the motion sensors and receives data. If he thinks that you have stopped in front of the display, he gives a little tap on the window. Halloween displays need either a black light or a strobe light for full cheesy effect. I'll show you the strobe light effect at the end of the video. The background is made from a few stencils and a couple of cans of spray paint. The tiger mask is a paper plate craft, typical thing you would get from a four-year-old. And I soaked it in coffee to give it an aged look, soften up the paper a little bit. The little boy did not have arms when I got him. So I got a couple of wood dolls and a curtain rod joint for the elbow. And I stole a couple of hands from a yard display and set them into the wood dolls with a couple of brass pins. I hope you enjoyed this video of my first robotics project. I will be getting back to my regularly scheduled bonsai videos, but first I will be doing another video on this project, one last one, which will detail the operation of each of the four servos, the schematics of the electronics, the coding for the operation of it, and I will show you what I did to mount the motor inside the head of a hollow mannequin body. That was a little bit of crafting there. If you like this video, go ahead and click the like button below. Share it out there in social media. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I do mostly bonsai videos, but every now and then I will be doing the odd art project on the side. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click the like button, share it out there on social media, and subscribe to my channel. I mostly do bonsai videos, but I will be from time to time doing the odd art project such as this. I have another Arduino project waiting in the wings. I will also be working on my annual glass fusing Christmas presents for the family. I have an interesting idea this year and I think you all will like it. Y'all take care now. Bye-bye.